Hello, everybody! Here we are playing Yu Gi Oh! Dev Pro. Okay, uh, this is my very first recorded gameplay, period. And uh, I've been playing Yu Gi Oh! for quite a many years now, so I figured that this would be the perfect game to, you know, be my first game to record. Um, I guess to give a little background to my deck here. Um, I have it, I, I call it an Instant Xyz deck, which basically does that. It just spams a whole bunch of various uh, Xyz monsters. Uh, I will say this uh, from the get-go. I use a lot of untraditional decks. I mean, I use traditional decks too sometimes, but the main thing that I actually like about Yu-Gi-Oh! is the infinite possibilities to make all these different kinds of decks. And, you know, and it doesn't even really have to look like that it makes sense in order to coordinate as long as it works you know um i really do enjoy the creativity of Yu-Gi-Oh. so like i said a lot of my decks will will most likely be uh, very odd or strange um okay oh yeah and i guess to explain it further i used as you can see in my hand i used the medulches uh in this deck because they're i don't know it's really easy for them to get out um, some Xyz monsters, and I really like uh, their Xyz monster, uh, Tiara Misu. She's really excellent in terms of just dealing with things. Okay, let's see what we're gonna do. Let's get you out. So we can add... and jelly. Okay, and I guess... Um, hmm, let's, let's, let's think this through for a second. Alright, I got an idea. I can use her. So I'll summon you. In order to get out, Ragna Zero. Like I said, the whole point of this deck is just summons various Xyz monsters to deal with varying situations of all kinds. Okay, uh, you know what? Yeah, let's, let's do it. You. Oh, okay. We will get another one. There we go. Okay. Let us take out the owl. Yeah. All right then. Put a little. Prizes and call it a turn. You know, I actually play. I, I haven't made a fluffle deck. Oh uh, wait, what is he doing? Uh, monster, a toy vendor. Nah, that toy vendor starts to get out of control, <laughs> and I don't want to deal with it personally. But um, yeah, I made. Like, I actually, like I said, I, I, I played Death Pro for uh, a little bit. Uh, we got another owl. Uh, what is he doing? And add a polymerization. Uh, nope, nope, you're not doing that either. Oh, what? <laughs> okay, well, the guy, guy surrendered, so yeah, that counts to the victory. Alright, um, oh yeah. <laughs> Well, I'll see if I can, uh, hop into another duel, alright? Uh, so just give me a sec. Okay, we are back. Really? Sad music. <laughs> okay, um, but we are back. And we will see how this duel goes. Uh, I, I already don't like this guy. Every single time I see him, just bad things. <laughs> Nothing but bad things. Oh, well. Uh, I think I got a relatively decent hand. I mean, uh, we'll, we'll see how this goes. Mm. Uh, there he goes. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I, 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 I was, hey, I haven't seen that card in a while. That's another thing that I like about Yu-Gi-Oh. For some reason, I really like the older, the, like the older cards, and like the older decks. Mostly just because you don't really see them very often. Um, okay, so... Yeah, alright, let's get started. 
but yeah, it's kind of like, there, a lot of, they're, they're, like, all of the new cards, the, all of the newer cards that have come out, you know, I, oh, oh, that was bad, well, nothing we can do about that, unfortunately, but yeah, um, a lot of the newer cards, as you guys are already aware of, they seem to be getting more and more broken. <laughs> Basically, by that, it's like, the, a lot of the cards that have come out now, it's like they do so many different effects with little to no... Oh, wait, what, what is he doing? Um... Yeah, I can let that slide. But yeah, it's like the, a lot of the newer cards uh, that have been coming out give you so many... Oh, you. Uh, give you so many advantages with like little to no real cost you know let's see i wonder if solemn strike uh i don't like that he's about to send another mizuki um hmm. you know what okay probably gonna tune him well I don't know because he's a high level now you have to summon like a, a level 9 uh, oh wait no. it's this guy and I don't feel like dealing with you but chances are the pyramid of wonder hey I wasn't sure if the pyramid of wonders would have been able to stop that I guess it did awesome I mean I guess it did awesome. all right yeah, I got to try to greet in here because this deck has a lot of difficulty uh, making just just regular draws, like just like a draw engine. There have been a lot of times where I just didn't have anything in my hand after summoning a whole bunch of stuff, and then it all gets wiped out. All right. Well, actually, this is despite me not having a hand and only one monster. This is actually relatively good because I can put uh, Messenger Lotto back in my hand and when. You know, ticket, I can get something else. Then in two turns, I'll have two more cards. So this is actually not a bad field. I was able to stop him getting the Zuki back into the grave. That would have been sucky. And I got rid of his Synchro Monster, so that's good. But we still got this guy. And it looks like he's about to do something. You know, I'm... I'm still actually getting used to these newer archetypes. Or just these newer cards. Like this sh uh, Shiranui, I don't know anything about them. All I know is that there's there's zombies and they I think they banish each other from the grave or just yeah just do, do stuff and they're banished uh, during either player's turn. You can banish a zombie monster from the deck. Oh, oh no, he banished them. <laughs> All right. Well, I have lost my advantage. So we are just gonna have to sit tight for a second until Shard of Greed kicks in. Hopefully it kicks in sooner than more better more than later. Hmm. On the plus side, if I get any level four, I could summon something. You should probably see. Yeah, you, I, I, I'm actually experimenting with this deck right now. Ah. Oh no, he's about to get rid of Angeli. Which I don't technically need right now, but he, oh uh, my goodness, I cannot stand him, but um, but yeah, if I, hopefully if I get like another level 4, or if my Shard of Greed is still on the field, I can draw some cards, summon something big, uh, like I said, I'm still, I, I really don't know what these Shiranu guys really do, like I've only played against them maybe like twice, Oh God! Who is this? Oh, what is he doing? If this card is such a summon, you can banish not that much from your graveyard. This card gains attack. Oh no! <laughs> uh. Ooh. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay. <laughs> all right. We got this. We got this. We got this. Alright, that is good. Okay, let's not destroy him. Because he will kill us. So. Let's figure something out instead. We shall instead devour him. Alright. 
And then we'll use Trick Clown. No, you're not Trick Clown. Uh, damage Juggler. So you get Hat Tricker back. And now... The attack. And I've got the edge again. Hopefully I can keep this edge. <laughs> okay. I mean, I have... I can I can win this. Like, I can destroy his monster. It's, it's just... It's my low life points. It's only 500. Okay, guy. What you got for me? What you got? What you got? What you got? What you got? Okay, because this is looking good. I got Bottomless Trapple, and I've got Raigeki. So, if I can just... <laughs> not... Take 500 points of stray damage, I should be fine. Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah, but while he's doing this, let me let you guys peek in my extra deck. As you can see, a lot of this stuff looks crazy. Probably really, really mismatched. At the moment, I am uh, experimenting with Cyber... I said Cyber. Uh, Cyber Dragon uh, Infinity, because I keep... I keep seeing him. He's, like, in every deck, and, you know, people... Why well, are using a Cyber deck, or they'll use that, that stellar guy. Oh wait, uh, cannot face up zombie type monsters you control cannot be destroyed by card effects. No! Oh, <laughs> uh, that's it. Oh well, that was good. I think I did pretty good. I mean, I was, it was I thought I was close. All right, well, let's see if we can hop into one more duel. All right, we're back into another duel. All right, so I guess. I guess I'm one for one. I lost the first one. I'm not, not I won the first one due to surrender. What the heck? Ah! <laughs> okay. Okay, no. No, I'm going back in there. I, we're, we're, we're gonna fight somebody. Okay, we're back to another duel. Alrighty. Um, as I was saying before about my extra deck, a lot of the stuff, as you saw, probably looks like really mismatched. But, um, believe it or not, I am able to summon, like, most of those guys in a single duel. Even the ones that have, like, varying, uh, ranks. Like I said, I'm testing out Cyber Dragon Infinity. He's a... What? What? Okay, well, here we go again! Okay, this has gotta be it. We're gonna fight, and we're gonna win. <laughs> Okay, uh, not a bad hand. It could be better, but not bad. Alright, let's do this. But, okay, as I was saying, <laughs> I'm testing out Cyber Dragon Infinity, mostly because, like I said, I keep seeing him, and he he's it, broken as all hell, but yeah, he's, he's a good card, you know? And the best part is that you can summon him as long as you have that, uh, that... Stellar guy whose name I can't pronounce properly, but um, yeah, I'm I'm testing them out to see how they do. They well, he the, the, the Cyber Dragon Infinity he he's worked pretty well so far. It's just that there aren't I don't know. It's like every single time that I've summoned him, it's like he works so so, you know. So I uh what 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 did I say? What did I say? We're most. <laughs> Oh no! 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 All right. Well, this isn't. This is not looking good at all. Chances are we might lose this duel unless we come across the form miracle. But we'll see how this goes. Yeah, there you are. And then here comes Mr. In... No, not Mr. Infinity yet. Y repeat words, yet. <laughs> Alright. Uh, oh yeah, he summons... What was it? Uh, oh yeah, he special summons a Cyber Dragon. Oh! Ah! <laughs> Man. You know, it's funny, he did not try to, uh, absorb any of my monsters. The problem is, is that I don't think I'm gonna be able to get away. Well... Alright. Uh, ow, ow, no, 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 he's gonna negate that. Yep, yep. 
Well, at this point, my only hope is to get a, a level 4, because if I do, I can summon uh, Salt Halberd and bring out something strong enough to kill him. But even so... Oh, hey! He did not kill! Oh, God! Damn it! I should have seen that coming. Yeah, uh, uh, this is not looking pretty. This is not looking pretty. Uh, I really hate fighting against Cyber Dragon Dex now, simply because of this guy. Like, I'm really curious. Like, with all these new cards spawn. Okay, wait. It Give me a second, because I'm going to be honest, I'm not even sure if I can kill him. Uh, like I said, the only way I could kill him is if with sheer raw attack points, and that is something I do not have. Ah, uh, man. Like I said, even if I attempt to summon... Ah, uh, man. No, I cannot give him the satisfaction. Alright, uh, yeah! Alright, alright, alright. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna kill the other Cyber Dragon. And then we're gonna use Ragnar Zero's effect to attempt to, at the very least, dampen this power. Well, it's during either player's turn. So... I'll activate it on his turn. I mean, I have Exceeds Reborn, so it's good that I can at the very least bring her back. Assuming she'll go to the grave. But the problem... Excuse me. The problem is that oftentimes with, when at least when I play Cyber Dragon Dex, they actually, believe it or not, get really unpredictable. You'll think that, like, like most of the time, you know, like I said, they'll just do the the general Cyber Dragon, Cyber Dragon Nova, Infinity combo. But sometimes they'll just they'll end up doing something really off the wall. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. So he's doing that, and then I do this in an attempt to kill him, and then he'll have to negate that. And then he does not get her. She stole! I forgot he stole! That's the gelato. Alright, this is actually really, really good now, because I can bring her back. And he can't activate that effect a second time. Now the problem is, can I activate that fight? Oh! Well, I guess we're doing this right now then. Okay, I have no idea what my chances are, but there's a chance I can come back from this. Go, Ragnar Zero, go! <laughs> okay. Okay, the thing is, that's, I can only activate that once per turn, but does that count if she died? I don't remember. Well, I guess the game will tell me. Oh! Are you sick? This is what I was talking about! That off the wall! Ah! Okay. There isn't much I can do at this point. So at this point, we're kind of drawing, drawing straws at this point for something lucky. This happens sometimes every now and then. Oh, okay! Okay, well that fiendish chain is a, is a sight for sore eyes. Now! As far as what I can do, it is not much. Not much at all. Which is really unfortunate, because like I said, I took out other Xyz monsters. Uh, I, I can't, I cannot kill him. So I'm not even going to try. I mean, I have him. And then, I can at the very least boost their attack. Like I said, I can only stop one attack. Hopefully, they'll be strong enough to withstand something. And with this, they'll return to my hand, so that's not all bad. I mean, Messengelato is kind of useless in my hand. 
but, um, I don't know. We'll see. Like I said, right now we're kind of grasping at straws. But, uh, hey, I don't, I, like I said, I don't have Infinity to worry about. He's, he's the biggest pain ever. This guy, even though he's strong, is a lot more manageable. Okay, and I still got monsters to banish for Hoot Cake's effect next turn. Okay, if Hoot Cake survives this, I can make the Levier uh, TR on me su This is not looking good. <laughs> oh, wait, no, he, he'll survive it anyway because, um. Oh, shoot. Oh man, this is. I really don't know what to do here. Like I don't. It's like I have my fiendish chain, but I don't know like who to use it on. You know? Cause like I could have stopped that, but he could have just had like another monster. I don't know. We'll just have to see. But yeah, like so. Aha! You see that? You see? No! Get out of here with that. Okay, that's good. So yeah, it doesn't even really matter because thanks to uh, the field spell, whoever he... <sighs> yeah, that, that, was, that was exactly what I was afraid of. Well, alright, well, chances are we're dead. We are definitely dead. Oh my gosh, I really can't stand Infinity. Like, I really, 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 really can't stand him. He's so annoying. Which is why, like I said, I tried <laughs> I tried using him in my deck. It's a shame! I, di I, I didn't really get to, sh to showcase, at the very least in this video, the, 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 the what my uh, deck can really do. Like I said, most times I'm actually able to pull off that whole uh, Madolce OTK thing. But, um, or the very least, just perform one with them. Um, but, you know, like I said, sometimes it just kind of gets away from you. Every now and again. And what it looks like... Is he going to negate that? He probably will. Will he get... Uh, Alright. And he'll probably end up absorbing him. Just to get the attack and the effect back. I mean, there's very little that can be done here. Like, e ugh, even if he. Ugh! <laughs> Man. Yeah, he's taking him. Uh, I hate these new cards. I hate them, man. Jeez. You see, and it's like, I tried to... Oh, wonderful. You're totally useless. And you will be skewered. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, well, this duel didn't go all roses like I had hoped. But that's okay. We can hit up another duel in the next gameplay. But, um, I will be determined to show you guys, like I said, the different types of decks that I have, and, and specifically what they can do. Like, you know, I'm not, I don't, I don't want to just have the deck show up, and then, you know, he, they just die all over the place. Like, I actually want you guys to see how strong the decks are, you know. And, you know, um... Just to see the decks evolve, you know, add new cards and stuff like that. Like I said, and and that that that's a tip that I have for anybody who uh, plays this game. There's probably everybody watching this, <laughs> but um, really don't be afraid to experiment. And yeah, that's it. But yeah, uh, don't be afraid to experiment with your decks. It doesn't matter what people say will work or what won't work. That's the whole point of the game. It's supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be creative. And in your your strategy, your deck, whatever it is, it's it's all yours. All right. So we'll, we will we will win some more duels the next one. I don't know if I'll use this deck or another one, but thank you for tuning in, and I will talk to you in the next one. Okay. Enough with the sad music. <laughs> hey, I will talk to you in the next one. See ya.